What's up guys, Mr. Miola here, back with another Scrap Mechanic video. Today we're actually not going to be playing Scrap Mechanic, however we're going to be running through the latest dev blog, which is Dev Blog 7, which has just been released by the Scrap Mechanic staff. So I'm not sure how this video is going to go. We haven't done anything like this in the past, but if you guys do enjoy this video and would like to see me do this for future updates or future dev vlogs regarding Scrap Mechanic or any other games, let me know by punching that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll sort of keep up to date with the dev vlogs and keep you guys posted on what's going on. So like I said, this is dev vlog 7 um, and it introduces a bunch of new stuff, information about the upcoming survival mode, which I'm really excited about personally and I think a lot, in fact most players would be, um, as well as a bunch of new items and tools and stuff like that. So let's get into it. First up, we have the most anticipated item probably introduced into scrap mechanic yet the welding tool now the welding tool has been an item that people have been asking for for a long time i think pretty much from when the game first released i mean it's only been out for four months now that i think about it so the game's still relatively new and this game has been requested for a long time basically what people have wanted in a welding tool is a way to bring their items back together you know we've all experienced that thing where we go and just break that one block connecting two parts of our build and there, that, that's it. That's it. It's in two separate parts and there's no way to get it back together other than rebuilding it from scratch. Well, the welding tool is their approach at fixing that and they haven't really given any insight on how they're going to go about that, how the welding tool is going to manipulate our builds to do that. Um, but I'm really excited to at least find out that they're working on it. They've confirmed that they're working on it and uh, that's going to be really, really exciting. I cannot wait to get my hands on that tool because it's, it gets pretty frustrating when you go and destroy your own builds like that. Now, over the months, we've had a little, like, insight into these farm bots, which are eventually going to be introduced to the game. I think the survival mode. Um, we sort of see, like, little billboards in the game about it, and you kind of see a few pictures here and there about these these farm bots that I'm, I'm assuming are, like, the bad guys in survival mode that's uh, coming out hopefully soon in the next few months. So, in this dev vlog, they introduce us to something farm bot related, but probably not what you're expecting. Farm bot heads that play music. So, we're going to be given four different heads. We've got these red ones yellow ones green ones and blue ones and they sort of all look like faces and i think their mouths open and close so you can sort of see the ones with the red lights i think are the ones talking and the ones that uh, don't have the lights turned on are not talking or making noise at the time and um we're not entirely sure how they're going to work but from what they've told us they're musical instruments so I guess they're adding music to the game. I mean, they kind of went into a, they went on to mention that, you know, they've given us all of these tools that we can craft like things, but they haven't given us anything that can craft sound or music. So I guess it's another aspect on top of the game. In fact, you can sort of see behind these blocks that it looks like they've sort of got like a bit of a musical instrument strip, kind of like a, a Mobius strip. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Kind of like with the little, the spin box that plays music. It's hard to explain. Might put a little picture on the screen at the moment just to show you what I'm talking about. Um, so I've got a feeling that's moving past while activating some sensors, which is triggering these little um, music boxes. And in fact, these music boxes are quite small by the looks of it initially i thought they were quite big but it looks like they're only like a one by one type of block because you can see in the background they're about the same size as the little tile blocks so that's about all we know regarding the little musical farm heads let's move on this new feature is really great. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, I stole that from them. I can't take credit for that one there. So we're going to be getting two crate type of items, a small crate and a large crate. Now these crates are basically introduced to attach to your vehicles and probably your bases as well. And they're actually not going to be obtainable in creative mode. These here are something that will be introduced to us in survival mode when that eventually comes. Um, so basically I'm assuming that we're going to be creating resources. So collecting resources and collecting stuff which we can then put in our crates, store in our crates or in our bases and stuff like that and uh, not have everything in our inventory at once. Now, this sort of gives me a slight feeling that there is going to be bad things going around in survival mode. Things going to kill us. We're going to lose our items. So this is kind of like a storage option to, I guess, keep all of our items and stuff. So it kind of, you can sort of see which direction that they're going with the survival mode. Um, despite them not saying much about it, you can sort of get a bit of an inkling as to where it's going. So here's something else that's going to be present in the upcoming survival mode, cars. Now, basically, these cars are said to be left behind by farmers that sort of worked the lens before we got there, before the farm bots took over the world, I'm guessing. Um, so basically, these are just regular cars that spawn around the survival map. If you're too lazy to build your own, 
you can drive one of these around. Um, also, they do sort of say that these are like the prime sort of... I guess, uh, prime place to get tools and parts for your own builds. So I'm sort of assuming that you can go and break up these vehicles as you please and maybe maybe even build onto them. I don't really know. But I think you can take items off of them and put them onto your own builds and stuff like that. Um, just looking at this card that they've shown us, there's a couple new looking blocks that we haven't really seen before. Not sure if they're blocks or that's just pre-built and stuck like that, but I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about this build because it's very different to anything that we've seen in the game so far. As well as that, they've also shown us these 12 different like rim types. So it looks like you may be able to customize your wheels eventually rather than every vehicle having the same wheel. We might actually have 12 different possibilities of them and it looks like some of them have two different colors. So green and white for example, or dark green and lighter green. In fact, number four looks like a bit of like a spinner type wheel that uh, I used to put on all my cars and need for speed underground back in the day. But yeah, that looks like it'd be really, really cool. So this is something I actually wasn't expecting. Yet again, I think something more for survival mode. It's called a mystery spaceship interior. And they haven't really told us much about this. But from what I'm gathering, it's going to sort of fall into the storyline of the game. So I think the story is going to go something like you've crash landed in this, this middle of nowhere. Kind of similar land to what we see in creative mode, obviously. Um, in this farmland or whatever you call it. And uh, you crash landed from a spaceship. And basically you're going to spawn in a wreckage and... Um, I don't know, maybe there'll be parts and stuff in there for you to gather, but it looks like they're still building on this. We don't really have a whole lot of information or no idea of what I've actually said is correct or not, but I'm really excited to find out if this is, in fact, yeah, that. It'd be kind of cool if you're, like, spawning in, like, a spaceship. Maybe that means that they're going to be putting in dungeons and stuff like that into survival mode as well. Who knows? It's all speculation for now, but just being shown these little pictures is really, really cool. And here is the final thing that they mentioned, a new driver's seat. People have been asking for this for such a long time. It's a three block wide driver's seat. Perfect for things like motorbikes or just if you want to keep your builds symmetrical and just build them on, you know, that single one piece. This is a godsend. This is something I've wanted in so many builds, but it's never been there. I mean, both of the drivers, the driver's seat and the passenger seat are four blocks wide. The toilet seat is three blocks wide, but you can't steer or power engines from it, I'm pretty sure. So uh, this here is amazing. It looks fantastic. It's completely different to what I expected. It's a motorbike seat, basically. So this is the perfect item to throw on your motorbikes or just add to your vehicles that aren't an even amount of blocks wide. So that is an amazing introduction. I know a lot of people are going to be really excited about that one there. So, apart from that, they've gone on to mention a few little things about survival mode. Not a whole lot. They've told us not to expect it in the real recent, uh, real near future. Um, it still sounds like it's going to be a couple months away. So, who knows? Maybe June, July might be a great time with, like, school holidays in America and stuff like that. But, who knows? They're, they're working on it. They're getting it out. They're going to make it happen. So, I am going to keep my fingers crossed that it comes sooner rather than later because I am hanging out for it. It's going to be really, really exciting. So, um, if you guys do want to keep up to date with uh, Scrap Mechanics, Devs, Axolot Games. Um, go ahead and check out their Twitter. You can also check out my Twitter if, you're, if you want to go check that out. So that's twitter.com slash the Mr. Miola. Go ahead, check that out. I often uh, post little sneak peeks as to things that I'm building or uh, mention things that I'm doing or upcoming videos. So go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter for future updates. And of course, follow Axolot Games or Scrap Mechanic on Twitter as well. But that is all for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been a little bit different to what you're probably used to on our channel. Um, but I thought I'd give it a shot and see if you guys like it. So if you do want to see things like this in the future, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. Uh, it's the only way I know if you guys want to see more things like this. If you do, I will definitely make it happen. Um, but that is all, guys. Peace out. Have a fantastic day, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>